October 15, 2003. The Andrew J. Barberi, one of the biggest ships in the Staten Island fleet, is getting ready to leave Manhattan's Whitehall Terminal for its three o'clock sailing. Once the passenger decks have been secured, a deckhand comes up to serve as a lookout, an extra pair of eyes to scan the harbor. 15 minutes in. Approaching the KV buoy, Jersey side. Yeah, got it. The KV buoy marks the entry into the Kill Van Cull Channel and the approach to the Staten Island Ferry Terminal. A few minutes from now, when they approach the terminal, the ferry will have to pull into one of the narrow slips. On a windy day like today, that will take some especially deft maneuvering. The gap is barely wider than the ship. And we started to walk to the front of the boat. But the odd thing was, this guy is running by toward the back of the boat, passing us. And I thought that was odd. When it shifts and slows up, you know you're coming in. And um, it never slowed up. I couldn't figure out why it wasn't slowing down. And then as we were getting closer, it seemed like it was picking up more speed. The ferry shows no sign of stopping. What the, what the? Oh. Everybody back! Everybody back! The vessel has ground to a stop alongside a concrete maintenance pier, with its side torn wide open. The injured passengers need help. For many, time is running out. I need your help. With the ferry's wrecked side against the maintenance pier, no one can get on or off the ship. Somehow, Captain Gansis has to get the ferry over to the slips so first responders can board. We need to switch over the controls. You stay here. I'm heading over to the Manhattan side. The captain's plan is to get his ship clear of the maintenance pier, turn it, and then dock it by its undamaged end. Captain Gansis is back in the Manhattan pilot house, but he can't start piloting yet. Yep. OK, I'm in position. First, he and the engineer have to switch control over to that end of the ship. You have the command. Captain Gansis has got his ferry away from the pier and out into the harbor. Now he can attempt to turn it around. Stand by the dock. With the ferry safely in the slip, first responders can finally board. They race onto the ship to search for survivors. Investigators need to board too. More than 80 people are injured, 11 of them fatally.